Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. We have been reporting on the problems at Rivergate Terrace in Riverview since the peak of the first wave of COVID-19. Well, now the Local 4 defenders have learned the number of lives lost at Rivergate and its sister facility next door may be the highest in the nation. Sean Light live with the new numbers and why one family says their loved one should still be alive. Sean. And she is not alone in this, Kimberly. Good evening. Two facilities here, you are right, owned by the same parent company tonight. That parent company confirms to the defenders here at Rivergate Terrace, 35 residents passing away from COVID-19. Right next door, Rivergate Health, 20 people gone from COVID-19. That parent company in Seattle tells us this is likely the highest number of COVID deaths linked to nursing homes anywhere in the country. This is it. Kathy McGuire is hurting from the loss of her 87 year old mother, Sarah, to COVID-19. I lost a very precious person in my life and it caused a lot of pain to not only myself, but my family and even the grandchildren. And my mother still had a good quality of life to go. And she is furious at Governor Whitmer for ordering COVID positive residents back into nursing homes. Then June 15th, ordering that all nursing home staff and residents be tested for the virus. Kathy's mom was in Rivergate Terrace in April when she got sick. So it's too late. I'm happy for the other residents and the families that will not have to go through what my family went through. In March and April, Rivergate insiders and families told the defenders the virus was spreading like wildfire at Rivergate. Rivergate parent company, Life Care Centers of America, confirming to the defenders tonight, 35 residents of Rivergate Terrace died of COVID-19, 20 residents of sister facility next door, Rivergate Health, also lost their lives. 55 families now suffering the loss of their loved ones. Kathy McGuire says she has questions for Governor Whitmer. And I would ask her, why did you not come forth and protect our senior citizens, the loved ones that were in the nursing homes, who were the most vulnerable? You should have taken control like you took control over the restaurants, over the bars, over you know the retail stores and this and that. Now, the defenders did ask Governor Whitmer for an interview today to respond to criticism just like that. Her office getting back to us late this afternoon saying it was all about testing and the lack of tests there in April back in March as well. In fact, the governor's office says there in place is still a lack of tests, but testing being done now with the help of the National Guard of every nursing home resident in the state and staff member insiders here at Rivergate. Both facilities say now they are 100% COVID free. We're live in Riverview tonight. Sean Lay, Local Ford Defenders. That's good. Okay, Sean, thanks.